Hi, I am Joe D. McPhee. I am the host of From the Desk of the Small Press Publisher. And I want to cordially invite you to watch our show Saturdays at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. On our show, we will have different guests as well as talk about the comic book industry and pop culture. And every so often, I might actually do a drawing session or a 3D rendering session every here and there. So once again, I want to invite you to watch From the Desk of the Small Press Publisher right here on the broadcast channel that you're looking at, whether it be Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. Hope to see you there and make certain that you catch from the desk of a small press publisher at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thanks. What up, lovelies? Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are. It's actually night for me, and as you can see, but I blue and red shirt. I've been working again, so I'm a little tired, but that's how it goes. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Um, we're just going to continue where we left off last week, because my life is busy as all hell. So, yeah, th this is my <laughs> credibility hour, pretty much, for this uh animated pilot, but I'm still enjoying it, so I might as well, right? And we have been working on this little piece of dialogue, so... He's gonna bend forward a little bit. It's good to be back after last week. Um, yeah, I was pretty boy burned out, you know, worn out. You know how it goes. So it's good to be back, you know, do my thing. And uh, good morning, Nick. Hope you're having a great day. And uh, sorry I missed, uh, never mind, I heard it more yesterday, but I pretty much got home at the end and I was so tired. I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't have the energy for for anything podcasty right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay like that. Yeah, this is pretty much gonna stay the same as well. Here we go. I'm mostly going for form, stuff like that. So, you know, it's going to be nice and quiet, nice and easy going. Well, Farah, you're going to see a lot more. Also, Farah is a very good friend of mine from the Midlands. Um, we have pretty much known each other for essentially our entire adult life to, well, late teens to adult life. So we've been doing good, you know, and I'm still glad to have him as a friend, as a fellow artist and everything. So, um, that should take about a second, I'd say. Wow, you really studied them, huh? Yeah. Something here. And then he's going to roll his eyes. Oh. So, 
Okay, it was 16. Oh. Marv, you know I'm literally live right now. If you want to talk to me, I'm in the stream. I mean, come on. It's a Thursday. You know where I'm, I'm at a Thursday. So, later, after the show, my dad will be dropping by and... He picked up the Oswald Chronicles my first day earlier this week. So, yeah, I won't be unboxing it live because I'm pretty much going to be ready to go to bed after he leaves. But, oh, yeah. Yeah. My time at home is usually spent sleeping, which I know you can relate to. And he's going to be and blah, blah, blah. just stuff of learning my time alive and exploring the world. I love these creatures. Eleni are so adorable. Ah. Bob Spira, be nice. Spira was in, is already sub to my personal channel. Um, Co-opetition. <laughs> no. In all seriousness, I'm, I'm having a pretty good week. Um, my side job isn't pulling extreme days where I get home at like 10 p.m., after starting, actually, I want his tail to curl around here. Very show of pride. There we go. I like it. Uh, yeah, Fire doesn't re um, isn't too familiar with the kind of podcasts and, and live shows I'm in. But let's see. Go to new scene six dash three.
Yeah, indie comics are a lot more supportive than that usually. I don't know, and we're hearing something weird outside. Sorry, guys. Sorry if that sound looked weird, but there's, I think, a drain on this uh, roof that is having issues. At least I think that's what it is. It sounds weird. Could be a base as well. And there's kids screaming outside. Sorry if you can hear that. Uh, let me save it to the right file. 6-3. This is not going to be all that. Detailed. I, I kind of want to get through this one pretty quickly. No, no, but I have been known to have kids play at the playgrounds behind my house and having people be like, what's going on? And getting creeped out or something. So I try and explain if there's anything, you know, my mic happens to pick up because sometimes they, it does. Not always, but sometimes. That is a terrible angle. That's so please. That's much better. And again, I'm probably going to get more used to those shapes as I actually go into proper animating. when I'm no longer handicapped to a little walk on bamboo. 
Glenn, hey. Yeah, this is good enough for now because I don't really need it to be all that extreme. Shouldn't be more than, say, two seconds. Uh, probably one and a half, even. Save, compile, dude, import movie. And there you go. And save that as well. It's only one line, so I don't need to animate all of that much of it. 7-1. Now this is the big one. If people remember from Lava Cora 5, this tree took as long as the rest of the entire page. Let me actually grab it. Because I need your reference. Um, uh, page is full. Here we go. So, yeah, this is going to be animated now. That's going to be fun. So this is going to be several layers, uh, foreground, middle ground, oh, I said middle ground, and background. It's not going to move all that much. Well, some of us actually read my comics. <laughs> you know, I won't. I know who it's coming from. You're not worth the slap, you bastard. <laughs> nah, I love you, bro. You know that. All right. Quote, unquote, the three. Why is it on something I don't need it to be on? Hey, hey, the original gangster of animation right here, John Celestri. And my fellow co-host of Sketchy Saturdays. which sadly I will have to miss again because this weekend I have another convention on Saturday, but I will be able to take on along Tall Tales and the Oswald Chronicles. And hopefully with the two conventions I have next month, I will be able to take along John, John's comic, The Bloodwing Angel Chronicles. So I am, um, yeah, I'm still really surprised on, on how awesome you people are. Marv, I don't know what you sent me. Uh, because I didn't read it. Because I'm doing a live show. So, unless it's personal, um, ask it here, please. <laughs> um, I'm making a comic book. Do you have an Upwork account so we could work together on a comic? Uh, no, I do not have an Upwork account. Um, if you would like to send me an email or an inquiry about my rates and stuff, um, everything is down here in linktree forward slash fairies and ends. And everything about me is there, including my email, my Twitter, my Facebook. Um, 
And this right now is working on a animated pilot for my comic series. So, hi, welcome. Um, I don't know who you are, but I hope you're having a wonderful day. And yeah, hit me up. You know, if you've got any questions, I'm a publisher as well. So I am totally willing to answer any and all questions if I can help it. Because that's what I do. And the middle ground is new animation. So I think I'm going to make that pooch green. Um, now it's it's in my name description. There we go. On my face. Right down below, link three, link tr.ee forward slash fairies and ants, and you will find everything in there. Um, if not, hold on, let me see if I can uh, see where you're alive, where you are talking. Uh, Okay, I've got to see. Yeah, I can't find you. I don't know where you're live, uh, where, you're, where you're watching me from. Oh, hey, Fazirko. I hope it came in properly. Um, and I really hope you enjoy the series. Um, it's been a lot. Why is it oh, wrong? That's why. Well, you can add me as a friend as well, Mike Jimmy Lorsha de Brown. Because I don't know where you're talking from, so I, I don't get any notifications. Mm. Yes, uh, Mike Jimmy Lorsha de Brown on Facebook. Usually, if you f look for Mike Jimmy, you can already, already find me, especially in groups and stuff. You can also tag me. That will definitely help. Okay, actually, there's a little bit more foreground right here. Yeah, be nice and detailed. Let's see. And yes, Rich Parada is right live right now with uh, The Roaring. So be sure to check him out as well. And This doesn't need all that many layers. Dude, what's up, Pedro? We need to have you on at some point on this show. I want, would love to hit, pick your brain about animation. Um, but for now, I hope you're enjoying the show. It's been way too long, man. Hope you're good. here and nice little ruin look at pops dropping all the links good and you dude
Yeah, no, um, it will be in um, after this show. Um, my dad will drop it by afterwards because um, he has things to do until 8 p.m. well. Um, but yeah, like, I'm going to be able to take it along to the first convention this weekend. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Let's see. Actually, let me look at my reference right here. It has been such a pleasure making this so far, and I'm just looking forward to the rest of it as well. There are so many great people that I managed to learn to work with within this industry, and uh, I'm thankful to you all. It's uh, it's been the best fi best five years of my life. And I'm gonna keep saying that, but it's true. So uh, you know. You can shush me if all you want, but you will not silence me. I actually uh, want to change a lot of things from the, the panels to this. And not only that, but um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like doing it a hard way around. <laughs> that I'm, I, I will definitely be using that for other points um, and other things. But for this one, there's actually a couple of things that I want to change in order to make the animation work a little better um like behind this tree for example um in the reference you don't see what's behind it and i gotta be able to make that as well um not that hard it's essentially the same but you know i, I it, it saves me time later on that regard Like I, I gotta make something behind here actually. There's gotta be another building right over here. I'm gonna make a fallen over tree right here just to break it all up. Because there's no such thing as perfect woods in nature. And this is just going to be nice filler. I'm going to be one of those animators who will be highly re de relying ooh, on black and white on their, well, not black and white, but on their line work, more so than anything else, because I'm an anchor. So, it's what I do.
Uh, not only that, but the scaling is completely different um, on <clears throat> the panel compared to the, the animated canvas. So, yeah. Okay. Exactly. But, in fact, there is going to be color. Um, but it's going to be mostly flat coloring unless I really get, you know, um, crazy in the head, which people know me, I tend to do, but don't, don't take my word on it. Um, oh, that is not the layer I was looking for. Yeah, I don't really need a background, I think. background is essentially just going to be the backdrop, which is exactly what you're seeing over here, aka just blue. Gee -gee. There's going to be a tusker walking in here. <laughs> Doing it a hard way, that's a valid reason. Well, it's one of them. Let's see. All right, there is a little bit more foreground. I might as well do that to just add a little more dynamics to it. Because the aquanade is going just going to fly by. So the aquanade is going to come in like so. And yeah, fly out somewhere that they are probably oh, disappear behind this tree. At least that is my plan. That's no big deal. Um, but I'm going to make a, a different foreground layer when that arrives. Simple as that. Just cut it out once it's finished. I'm presto. So we enable keyframes and add a keyframe. And add another keyframe and. Oh, no, I want you to move. There we go. A cheeky day. Uh, yeah. Smooth start. There we go. Isn't that nice? I love keyframes. I love it when things are done for you. Long live digital animation. So that is just good. background then. Um, and then no, not a folder. New animation cell. This curve walking. Hey, hey, how are you doing, Griseta? Hope you're having a wonderful evening as well. Hope you're doing better by now, um, considering all the things you've been going through. Oh my God, have you seen those tweens? It's horrifying. Oh my God. That is not the shape I want. I need to make a tusker. I 
long fluffy tail. I'm really happy to hear that. Very glad to hear things are looking up again. Ugh. Yeah. AI generated 60 frames per second is simply, well, for animation. I mean, it is made literally to um, do it for, um, what you got for for um moving people like for for you know classic camera shots and that it's great at like that is what it's supposed to do that's what it's made to do by looking at um the 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 full thing like like animated turning it into 60 fps my god that is horrifying no oh, look at this little bugger um not gonna move him yet but um he's just gonna be there for now and then he's got a little buddy over here who's enjoying the view He's probably going to follow Oxton at Fun. Is that about size? Yeah, it is. Okay. Tuskers are enjoyers of life. They are also very stubborn and they refuse to give up. Yeah, well, welcome to my life. But then again, this work PC is also my private PC. So for, more, for the most part, you know, I, I, I literally have Clip Studio open 24-7 because of that. Like, I don't have to open anything. I could just get straight into work, open what I need to open, and get on it. Because um, otherwise, yeah, it wouldn't be as fun. Okay. So that brings that. And then I want... It is my job. Yeah, but nonetheless, like, even a job you can ignore. God forbid I've been ignoring most of my artwork for the last half year keep in mind love of quarter six was supposed to be done in march yeah aquanid yay the movements uh, new animation cell Second should be enough, and it will onion skins. Uh, yeah, we do. But then again, you know, I, I I manage with the creatures, and I like my stylistic choices. So 
There's actually a uh, um, live drawing sessions um, in Zandijk that I've been considering joining. Um, but they're from 8 p.m. on Wednesday to 9 p.m. on Wednesday, which with my schedule is kind of impossible, but hello. Yeah, it should be a three quarter coming to. So. It's a little warm in here. <sighs> yeah, no, in 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 Zandijk, uh, somewhere. I'm not entirely sure. I have, I'd have to look at our lo local art supply store. But yeah, no, they, they have a spot for. Uh, they actually have a live drawing, a weekly live live drawing session. going to fly behind. There we go. Let me see how that loops. And it works. No, this is the Indie Comics Network um, that I am a part of. So here I host Sketchy Saturday and Hong An Animation. Hong An Animation is my animation show where I'm doing things solo. And on Saturdays at 10 a.m. Eastern or 4 p.m. our time, um, I hang out with C. Michael Lenning, Marvy of the singular and john celestri and we talk art get work done together um for about one and a half hours um and it's a lot of fun like it's it's our credibility and we make sure that we're there whenever you know i'm not away at a convention um but yeah no it's 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 a lot of fun man um we talk a lot of art and and publishing stuff um, it's very informative, honestly, even from, you know, the people hosting it, um, a lot of deep discussions, you know, once the creativity comes around and you're just doing your thing, it's, uh, it's nice. Mm. 
There we go. And I think, yeah, I remember Ben Phil telling me about it. Yeah. And then that is going to be trees disappearing behind them. That's just not that hard. Someone forgot that an email is not a chat surface, but whatever. That's not what we're on right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Uh, this one should move a little bit. Yeah. And transform should be small. There we go. Okay. Let's see. I think that is that for this scene for now. Yeah, for the most part. Uh, we'll have to fill up that part a little bit, but that's okay. But I've been going for 45 minutes, nearing 40, 50. And I want to have a little bit of evening before my dad comes around and dropped my books and i'm gonna have to work for that a little bit um well carry books so we all know how heavy those get so everyone i will be dropping out with a couple of commercials be sure to stick around because we got some really really cool stuff hosting right now so stay awesome um catch you next week Hopefully on the Region 2 Broadcast Network or Indie Comics Network now. They keep changing names. They're they're doing whatever behind the scenes. And um, yeah, stay awesome, lovelies. Catch you next time. Now on Sunday mornings, longtime independent comics creator Randy Zimmerman brings to you a podcast that talks about the lighter and more whimsical side of comics, the fun side of comics. That's right. Sunday Funnies is back Sunday morning, 9 a.m. on the Raging 2 YouTube channel and on certain Facebook pages. Check it out, won't you? It's special guests, great talk, and a lot of fun as we work to put the fun back in funny books. See you there. Thank you.